In this view, we will be demonstrating a PA chest. The PA chest should be performed with the patient standing at the upright bucky with a 72 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. Our heart lies anterior and a little to the left, so we will always want the heart closest to the IR to reduce magnification. So I have him PA, he's at the upright bucky. I have used the IR one and a half inches to two inches above his shoulders, or we're gonna use the mid sagittal plane and T7. His hands are on his hip and we're gonna roll those shoulders and elbows forward. That is in efforts to pull the scapulas more lateral so we can visualize more of the lung field. This will be taken on inspiration, um, on the second inspiration. And this is essential so that the lungs are fully inflated and we can see about 10 ribs on a PA chest. So I have a right marker on the right side. And as I step away, I'm gonna ask him to take in a big deep breath and blow your breath all the way out. Take another deep breath in, hold your breath, don't breathe, don't move, and the exposure is made. A diagnostic PA chest radiograph should be free of motion and rotation and include both lung apices, both costophrenic angles, visualization of 10 posterior ribs above the diaphragm. In this view, we will be demonstrating the lateral upright chest. The lateral chest should be performed with the patient standing at the upright bucky with a 72 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. The next view of the chest is a left lateral. So I'm gonna have my patient turn towards me. Again, the left lateral is most important because our heart dips to the left and we want to make sure that is closest to the IR to reduce magnification. And again, the importance of 72 is to help reduce that magnification of the heart. We're gonna take the right marker off and I'm gonna use the left marker and indicate the left side of the body and indicate it in the anterior. His arms will go above his head and we will use the same breathing instruction. This time our central ray is going to use the coronal plane and we're still at T7. So can you lift your arms above your head, pull your elbows in so that your side is really close to the board and I'm going to pull you forward just a little bit and this time as I walk away I need for you to take a big deep breath and blow your breath all the way out. Take another big deep breath in and don't breathe, don't move, and the exposure is made. A diagnostic lateral chest radiograph should be free of motion and rotation. Include both lung apices and costophrenic angles with the hyla centered and the sternum in profile.